So it took me 20 minutes and two mess ups to create this painting. So what supplies do you need for this painting? So here I'm using cold pressed watercolor paper, A5 in size. I'm gonna cut it into half. If you're a beginner, try to paint small, especially in watercolors, because it gives a lot of control to the artist. More control means less chances of messing up. Next you need water, oh, obviously right? Then some watercolor paints. Here I'm using four paints, yellow, black, white and brown. I'll be using mop brushes and one flat brush for this painting. Now let's tape up the paper. So taping up the paper is very important in watercolors, otherwise the paper can curl out. So now we are all set and ready to paint. So we'll start by adding water to the whole paper. It's called wet and wet technique. I know it sounds a bit weird but I didn't name it. Also at this point I forgot that I bought a flat brush just to do this. <clears throat> Please ignore that. Okay, so now we'll start with a beautiful black color. I always start pretty light and then add more color to it. Fair warning, a little mess up ahead. So while I was readjusting the placement, the water dried up. So the wet and wet technique was not really working. So now I'm going to add more water using a flat brush. And my clouds just whooshed away. <laughs> so now I'm going to add the black color all over again. This time it would be a bit darker. So after creating a little clouds, I'm going to add the beautiful yellow and bring it all the way down. I'm adding a little more yellow to create the beautiful color. Next I'm going to add a very small amount of brown to the yellow to create clouds. Next, I will create a horizon line and bring the color all the way down. You can see how beautifully the wet and wet technique works here to create the clouds. I'm just adding dots of color and the way it's automatically spreading is creating these beautiful clouds. That's the beauty of watercolors. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of brown to touch up the clouds to the point where I'm satisfied with it. I'm redoing the black a bit because it didn't turn out as bright as I expected it to be. Now I'm going to thoroughly clean my brushes before taking in the white. So with the white I will add little white clouds which um, I'm not sure if you are able to see very clearly. Um, nor am I able to see it very clearly but I just thought I should do that. So I'm just um, doing that. You can totally skip that if you want to. Now this is just me taking my very sweet time because I, I think I forgot that I'm shooting a video. Next I'm going to add a little more brown to the ocean and I think it's ocean because we'll paint a ship on it most probably it's ocean i think yeah then i'll use black to paint some beautiful waves in the ocean so that we know it's an ocean right just random lines here and there next i'm adding some brown to the waves at the edges and then adding more black waves i really had fun doing this though now i think it's pretty much done now before adding the ship i have to let the painting dry so that the colors don't bleed into each other and thanks to the hot summer here it didn't take long next we'll paint the ship can you really sense the nervousness here because i knew if i mess up here it will be done. There's no going back from here. It might not look like a ship right now, but trust me, it will look like a ship at the end of it. I even made little mad stick people on the ship. Okay, so honestly, these thin lines are really difficult to make. You can use a fine dip pen to do that. Now, I will add a few cute little birds of different sizes. Some are closed, some are far. I don't know, I was not very happy with the ocean, so I'm just touching it up a little bit, adding maybe more waves. And also, don't forget to add the reflection of the ship. Now it does look really pretty. And now the moment of truth. My favorite part of watercolor paintings. That is peeling the tape off. And we are done. Do try this one out. And if you watch this video all the way till here. That means you love painting. And your love for painting deserves these 15-20 minutes of you creating something. So make sure you try painting this landscape. So links of all the supplies I used here are in the description below. Comment down below what should I paint next. And if you want me to see your art or need any help in this regard, don't forget to tag me on Instagram with your artwork. If you want to watch me paint more, do check out the YouTube short in which I painted 5 animals in one hour each. Bye!